true grit is present in Marquette basketball. And whether it's role players or potential 2019 Wooden Award winners, the Golden Eagles never back down from the play. They, they brought their best uh, game there, so they were ready to play right out of the gates. And we weren't, um, and we just kind of had to step it up, uh, kind of tune in to what Coach was saying, and continue to bring that focus and urgency that we've been bringing there. Tomorrow's Give Marquette Day, day in which Marquette donors give money to Marquette students, faculty, and programs. Now, Marcus Howard may have a little bit different of a definition of giving, handing the Butler Bulldog defense 28 points on the night. Marcus Howard is a unique player, as well as Theo John. The developing sophomore had an incredible night tonight, as well as all season long. He had 15 points, 11 rebounds, and three blocks. Um, I'd say it was just uh, concentration and lack of focus. Um, we came out kind of slow, like you said. And, I mean, Butler came ready to play. So they punched us in the mouth, and we just came back and kind of gathered ourselves, and we responded. With this win, Marquette now moves half a game into first place in the Big East Conference and is currently on a three-game winning streak. As the squad heads east for battles with the Providence Friars and Villanova Wildcats, these two games will be crucial in order for the Golden Eagles to expand their conference lead over Villanova. And Coach Wojciechowski has complete confidence in his team, despite a very important timeout call that may have saved Marquette from a Butler upset. The young men that unfortunately hit the coach are, are elite and uh, they know when they're not performing to the level or with the effort or concentration and focus um, that they're, they're certainly capable of. So uh, we rebooted and uh, our guys responded out of that timeout. Reporting from Pfizer Forum alongside Megan Rock, I'm Jack Phillips, Market Wire Sports.